that does it for me. That just straight up does it. For me. <gasps> Can you believe how beautiful it is? Come on. Almost dropped it. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. It's me, Coco, owner of Color Resale, and we're back with another thrift to sell haul. Uh, I had so much fun a couple weeks back sharing about the vintage and thrifted drinkware that I bought for my business, and so I thought we would do it again with flatware this time, mainly dishes. Uh, I usually do fashion, that's definitely the area of expertise, and that's what I sell the most of, but I've been having so much fun with decor and homeware, I've learned so much, and so I'm excited to get into it. Here we go! Ah! We have a little we have a little mountain behind me. So let's see how we get through this. We're back in the color resale studio. I'm so excited to show you some of these goodies. I store it on these shelves right here. Uh, if you haven't checked out my storage resale studio walkthrough, that's how I uh, I show in that video how I store my fashion. So I just store it on shelves like this. As you can tell, I'm not using that top half of the storage space. Um, there are solutions I could uh, divide it up, but this works well right now. Um, and I also got a question about how I do my shipping. So if there's enough uh, curiosity about that, I would love to do a ship with me, how I thrift and ship delicate uh, decor and plates and such. Um, but let's just show you some of the goodies. So this is one of the pieces I really love. Um, you'll be able to see here in a little bit. How am I gonna show you guys? <laughs> so this is like a sushi platter. There's two of them. And then there's the little spots for the sauce. I love a good set. So I, I'll walk you through, there's going to be some other ones um, where they used to be sets and the sets got um, sold differently, like not all to the same home. And that's just the reality of it, but I love selling it together. So I definitely listed this as like one set and that's definitely something that I recommend. And um, selling what you like as well, because the main comment that I get from people is like, I don't know what I'm doing with uh, selling home goods. The truth is in the beginning, none of us know what we're doing, right? But most people do have taste preferences um, that they're drawn to. So say in the beginning, really stick to what you know, what you like, what you use in your house. So for me, I grew up in Hawaii. There's a lot of um, like Japanese home decor and houseware is super prevalent, cuisine super prevalent there. So I grew up with these little plates um, and I love them. And so I just picked up the ones that like I have in my house and that I love and that I get compliments on and people say like, oh, I wish I had one of those. And so it's uh, looking out for that too, like things that people have complimented you on that you get repeat um comments on there's interest and you're seeing it and I also like sticking to like a similar colorway so this dish with the sauce right in there and then the the blue colorway you'll see I stick to really similar color patterns and that's very intentional a great tip that I got from my costume teacher uh costume shop uh boss and teacher um in college was a really great way to curate a collection whether that be fashion home decor whatever is instead of hyper focusing on the colors you do want to just cut a few colors out and then you'll notice how cohesive it becomes so if you look through my stuff you'll realize i don't carry a whole lot of green and purple which maybe not the best because those are really trending colors right now um but i love like cool uh like blues i love blue i love orange and brown and warmer tones and so a lot of my home decor reflects those colors this too oh, i love the crackled glaze i think that's so pretty this is a set of three i just love craftsmanship i love when details get put into things i think it makes you a lot more reverent and appreciative of what you're getting and uh, giving i think this time of year uh gifting 
gifting with so many people trying to like limit and be practical I think gifting like usable art um like handmade dishes and cups and things like that is always a good look I love useful art like I love receiving uh gifts that um are very practical but very beautiful like those are my favorite gifts to receive and so I try to source those things especially this time of year too these are little bowls, they're a little, little matching set, but obviously different sizes, but I love it. I, tr I do try to lean towards the handmade pieces, especially when it comes to ceramics and even glass too. If it's not vintage, I really try to make sure that it's one of a kind um, or at least has something unusual or specific to it. All of these pieces that you're seeing are available for purchase and the link is down below. Forgot to mention that in the intro, but if you're, if you're a repeat friend, uh, then you've heard me say it enough times. This next one is a hand-painted Jerusalem dish. It's a little deep, deep enough where it could maybe be categorized as a bowl, but it's just really beautiful. What I love about this piece, not only the colorways are just like super yummy and inviting, um, but I like that it has a really beautiful story to it, has a lot of rich history, um, the hand-painted details, and, you know, having a piece that you can eat out of but also keep as, like, a key dish or something like that. Like, I love the versatility of that. That was cute, Ina. I like that. Black or orange? Uh, black or orange? No, we don't have black, but we have red or orange. Uh, orange. My little peanut is here. Thank you, little mama. I'm almost done, Okay. My little peanut's here. She's been so patient and so good with me. Um, she's recently been doing this thing where she's like, okay, mama, time for us to get into our work. And so she'll set up her beads or her painting or whatever. Today she's beading. She just brought me a bead. Um, and she's like, okay, what are you going to do? And so I told her today I was filming. Um, so along with that idea of like a multi-use dish is this one. Oh! <gasps> Can you believe how beautiful it is? Come on. I love this color. You know these are my colors. I love black and brown together. I love this earthy tone. Um, it's. I'm still debating whether or not to keep this one. I love it so much. And then these little dishes here. Oh, and this one I would probably use as like a produce bowl. I'd probably put like I don't know, some clementines on here, some potatoes. I don't know. I just know that I love, um, again, practical beauty. I love, <laughs> I love it. And one of my favorite things to decorate with besides plant is produce, especially in the kitchen. Um, and I guess on the dining room table too. I don't really put produce anywhere else. <laughs> But yeah, um, so and then the what goes doesn't really go with it, but it could, right? This could be like a cute set. That's another thing, too. I guess these ones are filled with tips more than the fashion ones are. Um, I like kind of um, when people on Poshmark, if you're if you don't know about Poshmark, you can go into bundles and leave comments. Um, and I love going into bundles of people who have something that could be created into a, a set. You have to be careful with weight and how the package is gonna be sent because they're delicate, they do need more breathing room. Um, I think I will film a how to package because that was the, for me, that was the barrier of entry to selling home goods was I was really afraid of things breaking. And the first week I sold, literally 90% of the things that I sold broke in transit. And then I had to like crash course, like teach myself all the hacks and uh, nothing's broken, knock on wood, knock on wood, <laughs> nothing's broken since. So I feel like I really like fully immersed myself in all of the tips and tricks. Um, and yeah, so back to bundling. <laughs> I'm just too excited, you guys. I'm talking really quickly. I'm sharing too much stuff. Back to bundles. When someone likes something like that brown dish, I would comment, Ooh, I, I see that you like earthy ceramic dishes. Um, I have a few more. Would you like me to bundle it up for you so you can check those out? Saving that customer the step of looking through a thousand, how many listings you have 
and kind of curating it for them feels really loving and it's also respectful because you're saving them a bunch of time and that's a great way to upsell. I always make sure to keep two things in mind. One, packaging, like I mentioned, it needs to have some room so it can't be too tight of a bundle. And the other thing is weight limit. So Poshmark has a five pound per package um, limit. You can pay more to get more pounds and once you reach i think 10 they change they might have changed it since the last time i checked but i think it's 10. i really like to keep my packages light and have some space in there so i really try to be mindful with the bundling like this and the dish would work um but i wouldn't really put anything else and what i love doing too is i'm not showing textiles today but like cloth tablecloths cloth tablecloths that was not the right way of saying that. Um, napkins, uh, wood napkin rings, things that are lightweight that are great add-ons. I love picking up add-ons for home goods because I love selling bundles and because they don't weigh and they're not fragile. So baskets, napkins, linens, wood, little uh, tchotchkes, they do well and they might not be your like big money items. They may not flip for that much, um, but the person might find your shop more charming and become a repeat customer, or they might find that it's more value for them because they're only having to pay once for shipping. Okay, these dishes, are you kidding me with this cuteness? Oh, they're so, so darling. So they're all unique, they're all, different they all have the little signature down below um just too cute just too cute um next up we have these we have these okay so uh let's actually do the big one first this dish oh, this is the bead my daughter gave me a second ago she's beading she got these little plastic beads for Halloween um, from a dear friend. Um, so I love illustrations um, in all capacity. And so if I pick up a piece like this, look at the detail of the veins in the leaf. That does it for me. That just straight up does it for me. The art, the artistry, the colorways, the detail. Um, yeah, one of a kind, it's hardy. Just a dream plate. Quick intermission by the babe. She heard me talk about her bead and had to come in and check on it. Um, okay, this little stack used to be three times as tall. Um, and they are all different. So they all are a similar size. And they all are just like different designs. Look how beautiful. The beauty just so good I love I love all the small details and so what I did when I got these I, I was really excited when I got these no two are the same but they were all similar sizes um, and they all were made by similar companies there's a few that were different um, and they all were similar colorways so I said perfect we'll do mix and match this is where selling in lots comes into play. As I mentioned before, I wouldn't wanna, the stack was like this high when I bought them. I wouldn't wanna put all of those in one listing because that's just too much. It would break, um, they would break in transit. Um, learn the hard way week one. <laughs> and um, they, um, you would have to price them at a point where I don't know if that would work. Um, and you also have to take into consideration weight, as I mentioned before. So what I chose to do was create lots of pairs, two, and then three as well, and sell them separately. In the listing, I did mention that there were more. And again, like I mentioned in the bundle feature, when someone liked a pair, I said, oh, I I really like those too. Um, I have other ones that are the similar size, just different patterns. Check it out. Um, see if you want to buy some together or some different. And what's really important with selling home goods, delicate home goods on Poshmark, is starting that conversation with the buyer as soon as possible. Because say they do want to create a bundle that's more than five pounds or is really heavy. 
um, having that friendship and that camaraderie and that respect in communication happening already will really ease up the process of breaking up that bundle into or splitting that bundle rather let's not mention break as I'm holding <laughs> a mountain of dishes um you can split up the bundle and there'll be a lot more understanding and splitting up the bundle um make sure to mention in there language is really important so the way that i try to phrase it is i want to ensure that these get to you safely so we're splitting up the bundle not poshmark has these limits and i don't want it to break focusing on the positive <laughs> and what they're getting out of it and how it's beneficial to them because when you're splitting up the bundle they are paying more for shipping so it's a higher cost to them and you it's it's our job as the seller to let them know why it's so valuable to them. Okay, um, next up, uh, this is Golden Glass. So I sourced a lot of these and uh, this is what's left of them. They did really well. Um, this like honey golden, this honey marigold is how I call it. It's just so good. I have this large floral dish you know, I might actually keep, it's now that we're um, entering the holiday season, there's a lot of opportunities to serve up treats and really yummy meals and special things. So these to me scream like New Year's party brunch. Um, and so again, these ones, I did not list them as a whole. I split them into two different lots, um, but they have a textured back glass vintage high quality love the shape they're just so cool i just i love homeware if you couldn't tell <laughs> okay sorry i keep on leaving the frame but i think you've come to expect that of me at this point so we have let's see we have these dishes this really big one so um um, pa, 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 pa. what did I want to share about these? So you'll find this company quite a bit and I'm just blinking on the style. I'll talk about it in a future one, but, um, these ones do really well for me. Um, they, some people do collect them. Um, the other thing too, that I'm going to mention about collections that someone just brought to my attention and I thought it was such a great thing to keep in mind is that you don't have to have the whole collection to sell it to collectors because sometimes uh, people break a dish and they just need one dish to make their set whole or they find a set that's missing some. So if you found a gem, a vintage Pyrex piece, one of these plates, there are a few others that are like people love that people ask me about. Um, if you just have one or you have an odd number, still sell it just know that um there's people that still want that stuff too i have these two cute little plates oh the color vintage goodies and then i have the same one in a larger one a larger size but they're matching super cute um could be a great one here are two more it's a set of four so I already sold two of the little ones already, so it broke it up. Um, but when I bought them, I bought two of the larger ones and two, almost dropped it. Um, yeah, two, I had four of the larger ones and two of the little ones. No, I. that's what I have right now. I bought four of the larger ones and four of the little ones, split them up into two each. And someone bought the two little ones. And then last but not least, the ones I almost dropped are <laughs> these. Um, aren't they so gorgeous? This is, again, I had four of them. Two of them already sold. And so expect that. Not everyone's going to buy the full set. Some people are just going to want to because they're just a couple, you know? They don't really need all four. Um, so that's something to look out for, to keep in mind. Thank you for hanging out with me. I had so much fun. And check out uh, Color Resale on Instagram if you're interested in some self-care coaching with me. 
build some systems, find some work-life balance, get hooked up, feel better. Check out CocoCapfer.com. I'll link both below. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. This one was a request. I had so much fun and um, I'll do more requests. Those are my favorite because I love giving you guys what you actually want. That's the whole point of this channel. Okay, have a great one and I'll see you next Monday. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'll, bye bye. I'll see you Monday. See you soon.